It is my pleasure to honor New York City's iSchool with our National Wildlife Federation's 2015 Education Award. Could they please come up? It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling I'd just like to say a few words of thanks to everyone at the National Wildlife Federation who had any part in creating the Eco Schools program. Um, I really cannot emphasize enough what a powerful tool this is for inspiring uh, young environmental stewards. And it is an incredibly powerful toolbox for educators at any level who want to engage students and create entry points for kids to be able to measure their own impact on the environment and to take responsibility for that impact and come up with ways of reducing that. Um, in particular, I'd like to thank Emily Fano, who has in, uh, like, in, introduced me to the entire program and uh, without whom we quite literally would not be here today. Um, I'd also like to thank the administration at the New York City High School for creating a a space that allows for teachers to take risks and encourage students to take risks like the Eco School program. Um, and now I'd like to introduce you to some of my former students who I've had the chance to <laughs> hang out with today and then thank you again for that opportunity. Something that Mr. Moroy was very good at teaching us was that there's a difference between reading about energy use and sustainability and actually learning and doing. We had a lot of wonderful opportunities. We got to go to a power plant. We were able to go to a water treatment facility. And we got to see how things were done. Um, it's, reading is not like the entire story. Being able to like go and do makes you understand your impact on the planet and it makes you feel like I need to change the way I work. And just reading doesn't do that. So being hands-on and physical is something that Mr. Morway was very good at making sure that we knew about. And it's been very valuable, especially now, like outside of high school. And we're really grateful for that. Um, I was able to participate in two of Mr. Morway's modules. And my favorite part was when we were able to audit the amount of biodiversity around our school and we saw solid evidence that there was a huge lack of species. So we as a group brainstormed plausible solutions and my favorite part was actually implementing them. Being here, um, it, being able to talk about this brings me joy because it represents what we've done in Mr. Morey's module, iSchool Energy. Um, it taught us that how much this world is dependable on the energy that we use and how it's depleting. It, the minute fact that was presented in that module to us scares to me to even acknowledge the decreasing biodiversity in our world. And the iSchool is where we took the initiative to make a difference and I'm really glad to share this with all of you guys. The most important lesson that I learned in Mr. Mulroy's class was that my way of life is completely unsustainable, especially if it were to be translated to the entire population. We took a simulation in class and it asked us a series of questions about our energy consumption, our food choices, and our travel methods. And I found that it would take 3.41 planets to sustain the entire world if they all live the way that I do. But, <laughs> It doesn't have to be that way. Even small changes can make a giant difference. Thank you.